Grandmaster. Welcome to Caribbean Insight. We have an explosion of Caribbean videos lined up for you. Tonight, you will be experiencing international artists displaying the cultural rhythms of soca, calypso, reggae, dancehall, and salsa. So relax, and let's take a ride down the Caribbean. As you know, I'm the Lord Kitchen, and I'm having a wonderful time here with Caribbean Insight. I think it's a wonderful organization, and I hope you will do as I do, keep listening to them. I was born as a Rima on St. Joseph Street. We used to call this season the guava season, which means hard time. Because in those days, a family, if they couldn't help themselves, never mind to help you. I used to get along all right. I was born in a, a musical family. My father was a blacksmith. He was a singer, he was a whistler. When he making the, the horseshoes, he used to make a kind of rhythm with the anvil. What happened? You called? I was born a Calypsonian. I live for Calypso. Now, this is a funny thing. Every Calypsonian don't live for Calypso. They sing Calypso because they want to make a dollar. I feel like I owe this to the world. I'm not singing Calypso only for money. I feel as long as I'm alive. I have to be with it all the time. Well, I never thought one day I'll be living in a house like we in Orama and becoming this famous in Calypso at all. Welcome, TV family, to a four-hour marathon of the Lord Kitchener on Caribbean Insight, the place where history glows and culture flows. And in this first hour, we're going to take a look at the career of a musical genius whose works began in 1937 and he made his last performance at Sagafi's Sobers Gym in the year 1999. I'm your host Lady V and we're getting ready to pay tribute to a legend in the Calypso art form. I wish I was a mango tree planted at Lavanti I wish I was a mango tree planted at Lavanti and my quality is mango bell I bear in one's eye yeah. but my children must never fall I don't care if the bluebirds and them eat all and look at dropping bloop, 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 bleak oh them school children run below but when they reach they hold their head and ball for when they think is mangoes may branches fall for you to appreciate the works of this musical genius here on caribbean insight we are going to review his career i started before the 40s the end of 38 um the end of the 30s really but um, not really professionally okay so I sang in the country where I was born, called Rima. Uh -huh. and during those days, I, I used to be singing the little small competition and winning those competitions. Then I thought I was good enough to go into Port of Spain. Alvin Roberts came and told me that he would like to sing a song. I asked. Mr. Roberty, what was his name was a Calypsonia. He told me he didn't have any. I said, well, I will call you Lord Kitchener. With this new title, the Lord Kitchener began hanging out at the Calypso Center at 62 Nelson Street in Port of Spain. He hung out with Attila the Hun, Roaring Lion, Beginner, and King Radio but still singing at the bamboo calypso tent in a ring. He started singing with the roving brigade tent. Kitchener's big break began in 1944, when it was a carnival jamboree, and 240 tourists 
stopped off in Trinidad on their way to Brazil. So I decided to go to Port of Spain in 1944. I had composed a song called Green Fig. And people told me that that's a good song. And a few Californians came to Arima and told me that that's a good song. I can afford to come into Port of Spain with that song. Mary Attire and this girls, don't boil no more fig for me breakfast. <laughs> Thirty dollars a fortnight you spending. What the devil now you doing in the kitchen? I gon' cut on your salary. Some good jockey riding me race for me. In 1945, he sang his first calypso on the steel pan. His song, La Folie was the unofficial road march that year. I go find them, it's trouble. In Arima, it's trouble. And if they beat me, it's trouble. It's manslaughter, it's trouble. Tell me, Mooma, it's trouble. And me sister, it's trouble. And me brother, it's trouble. To surrender, it's trouble. To me, to me, blim, 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 blim. Ula, it's trouble. Mickey Gina, from Arima, uh, if they touch me, it's, it's man slaughter, uh, I am waiting, uh, round the corner, uh, with me cutlass, uh, for them terror, it's trouble. I'm going to fight them in Arima, uh, if they touch me, will his murder, tell me more. And me sister, ah, that me brother, go so real, trouble, trouble, it's trouble, 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 trouble. Tell the sergeant not to hold me, cause when I stand. We were singing together in the early 40s. I met you in Chicago in 1943. Uh -huh. Then in 1947, I sat there and wondered, I'm having all this fame, but not much money. <laughs> so I decided to take a trip to somewhere. I went to Curacao, went to Aruba, then I landed in Jamaica. Uh -huh. Well, uh, uh, the, the people loved me in Jamaica because I had a, a song called Kitch Come Go To Bed. I have a small comb to scratch your head. <laughs> and the Jamaican went, went wild for that song. Ah, bonus, don't call me so. I don't like it. I want you no. Ah, bonus, don't call me so. I don't like it. I want you to know when you call me all this sweet name stupidness then you leave me and you gone I stop foolish 
Well, darling, you will give me misery. Well, hear the sweet name that burn is calling me. Keech, come go to bed. I have a small comb to scratch your head. Keech, don't make me cry. You know I love you. You playing shy. After spending around six months in Jamaica, I had the same thought, like when I was in Trinidad. Plenty of fame, not sufficient money. I decided to move again. You are watching the number one Caribbean program here in the USA today, and we are celebrating the legacy of the grand master of the Calypso art form, the Lord Kitchener, Mr. Alwyn Roberts. Do you remember? It was in 1994 that he told us, do work for Carnival. And nine years later, it is still the anthem of all Carnival lovers. When that time comes around, we don't walk at all. If you find me face looking flat, it's something that really gets me upset. If you find me face looking flat, it's something that really gets me upset. Me and my boss man just disagree. It nearly had me fight with me and he. Well, what you think of the Tilele? He want me to walk on Carnival Day. I tell him, no, Mr. Vida, don't ask me to. Mr. V, if you want to be me, pal. This could have shipped your back and out. Like you can't would get on radical. I walk in. From Juve morning to o'clock I don't want to hear nothing but what Especially when them steel man start to rock And the Juve bosses start to flop Spread the news loud and clear. Spread it for all the 
one of all time What to a trini is a big crime All before carnival we go up Sunday to Sunday right round the clock But carnival Saturday is the last Then we want the freedom to play the mass I tell him, no, Mr. Vida. Don't ask me to walk my carnival. Mr. Vida, you want to be the part. Don't ask me to walk my carnival. Don't ask me a ta 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 Don't ask me to walk my carnival. Lord, I don't want to turn a criminal. Don't ask me to walk my carnival. I walk in. I walk in. Friday. I walk in. Monday. I walk in. Yesterday. But from Juve morning to o'clock. Don't ask me to walk my carnival. I don't want to hear nothing but walk No one's gonna walk my carnival Especially when them Stevens start to rock No one's gonna walk my carnival And the Juve Bossy start to flop No one's gonna walk my carnival No one's gonna walk my carnival No one's gonna walk my carnival Yeah, yeah No one's gonna walk my carnival No one's gonna walk my carnival I'm Lady Gypsy, known in the Calypso world as the Dragon Lady. Hi, I'm Devon C, 2016 Calypso Monarch of Trinidad and Tobago, and you're watching Caribbean Inside TV, the number one stop for Calypso history and culture. Long live Calypso. Greetings, my name is David Rudder. I am Mavis John. Yo, this is KMC. I'm Nicole Graves. Hey, yo, this is Ronnie. This is Ronnie McIntosh. Hi, it's Brother Resistance. I am Ras Shorty Eyes. I make sure that I watch Caribbean Inside. And so should you. Caribbean Inside. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Really super. Was spite. Caribbean Inside. Enjoy day or night. I would call him the king of suggestive songs. By now you realize that you are watching Caribbean Insight and we are on a four hour marathon of the legendary Lord Kitchener, Mr. Alvin Roberts, the grand master of the Calypso art form. So lock it in and stay tuned as we continue to look at the life and works of Lord Kitchener. I decided to move again. So I thought I should come to England. I should go to England. I went to England sometime in 48 June, around, around June in 48. And then is where the big thing started for me. Lord Kitchener, now I'm told that you are really the king of Calypso singers, is that right? Yes, that's well, so you sing for us? Right now. Yes. London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. You can go to France or America, India, Asia or Australia, but you must come back to London City. Well, believe me, I am speaking broad-mindedly. I am glad to know my mother country. And that was the talk of London. Well, I, that song was so popular, I, I started working in, in three clubs in one night. So then I was, I was made up. I was very happy. So, recording time started. I got a contract with a company called Melo Disc. And I recorded Nora, Nora. That was a big hit. Nora, Nora. Lord yes. Something like that. I yes. remember that one. Yes. I want to go home to see the grandmother, Nora, Nora. That was a song. That was a big hit. From, from London, I went to Manchester. Spent a couple of years in Manchester. And then I was asked to come to Trinidad in 1962. The Lord Melody provided great camaraderie for Sparrow. But Sparrow lost his friend Melody when Harry Belafonte recorded Melody's Mama Look a Boo Boo Day. It was a blow to Sparrow. And he went adrift 
looking for a new sparring partner. And he found himself in London, begging Kitchener to come back home. But it was not until 1963, when his song, The Road, took the road march from Sparrow's ever popular Dan is the man in the van. This gave birth to a new Calypso rivalry, and Kitchener went on to win this title in 1964 with Mama This Is Mass, and in 1965 with a ditty called My Pussin. The Grandmaster is a genius in every aspect of this genre. Whether it is political satire, social commentaries, witty ditties, or even soke, Kitchener has proved to be at the top of his game. But it was the pan, the steel pan, that fascinated him. Pan beating all night in the dry river. Now we all hear it, but can't see this orchestra. Pan beating all night in the dry river. Now we all hear it, but can't see this orchestra. But another thing confusing the whole public. You could only hear the band when rain fall. We had to believe this mystery or sheer magic. Why it is we can't see this man at all? That's what we started with. But it got dropped in the hand of all the speed. We could bring the bring umbrella. We decided to play the weather to see this mystery man in the river. But bring the dumb and say it's more of the breeze. Hey, it's the Calypso Marathon that's happening here with the Lord Kitchener. A four-hour Calypso Marathon right here on Caribbean Insight. Don't be caught home alone. This is the time that you pick up the phone, call your friends, call your neighbors, and let them know that I'll be right back with much more of the Lord Kitchener's Flavor. We come from a country district all the way up north. We hardly is playing music and drinking fish broth. We come from a country district all the way up north. Sometimes we just play music without any broth. We weather the storm under pressure. Then decided to form an orchestra. But the tongue boy said, we must try again. We do green to come for the spin. Yeah, big bang. Take 
doesn't sing political songs, we say no. Kitchener sang one of the best political songs in this country right after the 1970 Black Power riots. Surprised a lot of people. Called it No Freedom. 
I'm Lady Gypsy, known in the Calypso world as the Dragon Lady. Hi, I'm Devon C, 2016 Calypso Monarch of Trinidad and Tobago, and you're watching Caribbean Inside TV, the number one stop for Calypso history and culture. Long live Calypso. I'm the Lord Kishin. This is Ruth Smart. This is Samuel Dempster. My name is Winston Bailey, better known as Shadow. This is Calypsonian Squeezy. I watch no other but Caribbean Inside. Caribbean Inside. Ready is dynamite. Caribbean Inside. Really super. Was spiked. Caribbean Inside. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Inside. Along with the tune they're playing, and now one again you shouting, play my rock and all this tourist, that is carnival. Kitchener and Terra are the ones that stick out in my mind, because I think they have done probably more than many of the other Calypsonians for the Steve Band. I won in 63, uh -huh. I won in 64, I won in 65. Then I won in 67. This genre. But you see, when I came into Port of Spain, I, have, I happened to be living where the, the, the pan situated. The home of a pan, of a pan side, it was called Bar 20. And I lived there among the, the players. So it's only obvious that if I had to compose, I'll be composing something about the pan. Right. And that's how I started. That's, that's where I got my inspiration to compose about the pan, because I live right in the yard mm -hmm. of the pan men there. Mm -hmm. And then I composed a song, The Beating of the Steel Band. The Beating of the Steel Band. Mm -hmm. That's where I call all the old players, the names of the old players. And uh, that's my first. That was my first band song, and it was before composed by anybody. Well, let me ask you this question. Can you play the instrument itself? You can't no, play the I instrument. I can't play, I don't know one note in the pan. I, I can't even, I don't know how, if I try to beat the pan, I'm sure it's gonna sound funny and strange to me. <laughs> <laughs> so how could you compose to the pan that you can't play the instrument? What, what, tell me, how well, did you, that happen? Well, you know something? You know how many people ask me that question? Mm -hmm. I can't answer them. They say, how, how could you compose for the pan? And you can't play a pan? You, 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 don't, you don't know anything about pan? That's fascinating. Very, very, very. I guess that's, it's just a gift, God's gift. Could be. Thanks God's God. Thanks gift. God for we are all blessed with talents. The problem is not how to use your talents, but which talent to use to elevate yourself and uplift your race. 1975 was a significant year for the Lord Kitchener. Apart from winning the Road March, he won the Calypso and his tune Spree Simon was played by seven steel orchestras that made it to the Panorama Finals.
watching Caribbean Insights. And if you have just joined us, we are on a four-hour marathon of the man, the legendary Mr. Alwyn Roberts, the Lord Kitchener, the Grand Master of Pan Music. And don't touch that dial. I'll be right back with some special information for you. When I look at the Grand Master, check him as Merlin the Magician, because when you listen recently to the tunes that he has done, like B's Melody, Pan in A minor, Symphony in G, Mystery Band, it's only mad people that's be thinking like, It was dark, 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 in a big, big park. I felt like a king upon the throne, me and the Melda lying alone. When I heard a talk and a creeping walk, as I look around frightfully, we were lying in the center of a cemetery. You talk about run, can you bust me head? The living running from the dead. I go say, don't run, me lad. Come, let me play a game of card. Well, it's now a running in truth. The foot's taking a macro route. I fall on inside a tomb. I get up in a zoom zoom. Just about to start a little romance with me, sweetheart. I kiss her twice, just feeling nice. When a voice said, Mister, you brave to be bringing your girlfriend on top of the grave. You talk about run, that he bust me head. The living running from the dead. I go say, don't run me, lad. Come let we play a game of cat. Well, it's now a running in truth. What's taking a man for you? I fall on inside a tomb. I get up in a zoom, zoom, zoom. I saw the whole world shake And now in big trouble This time I saw I see the devil I see a tall white horse On top of a big black cross At a ball of Obama dead The horse a cage Come go to bed You talk about That he was head Living running from the dead A horse said don't run me lad Come let me play a game of cat Well it's now a running in truth The foot's taking a man go root I fall on the side of two I get up with a zoom 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 As I reach the street, a tall gentleman I meet. I was feeling so happy to tell him of my fright in the cemetery. He said, I can understand. You are a wild young man. But still, you not to be blamed. When I was alive, I was just the same. You talk about that he bust me head, living running from the dead. I go say, don't run the line. Come let me play a game of cat Well it's now a running in truth The foot's taking a man go room I fall on the side of two I got a bit of zoom 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 mama Hi, I'm Devon C, 2016 Calypso Monarch of Trinidad and Tobago, and you're watching Caribbean Inside TV, the number one stop for Calypso history and culture. Long live Calypso. 
Hey, I am Tigress. This is the original dance master. This is Marshall Montana. I'm Brother Valentino. This is Marcia Miranda. Caribbean Insight. Yes, I watch them all the time. They're bad. Caribbean Insight. Ready is dynamite. Caribbean Insight. Really super. A spite. Caribbean Insight. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight. They call upon me to go to America. It was a big calypso craze. That calypso button, calypso shoes, that was 1957. Everybody was trying to get to America because all that happened in America is calypso. Then the mama she laughed and said, Go, man, go. Your daddy and your daddy, but your daddy don't know. I tell you. Wow, wow, wow. The Belafonte was the only man that the people accept as a Calypsonian. Although we know that Belafonte is not the authentic Calypsonian, but to the people outside, he was. And he helped Calypso in a big way. The outer world understand Belafonte much better than they understand us. The Calypso rhythm is kind of a Latin rhythm, which is not that popular. For the, to the foreign market. The foreign market will go more for the four fourth time, the pop time. Even Calypso can be sung in that timing. Calypso will be right on top. But because Calypso is sung in this particular timing. The foreign, the foreigner is not so acquainted to this type of beat. To us it is sweet. We love it. The, the foreigner might like to hear it, but he can't get with it. That should be, I want to romance you, you must agree. You're driving me cuckoo, you can't you see. My love is really true, I've got to be. They want to control you, looking at you. I get a sensation out of the blue You rose me emotion Dance with me, I want to romance you You must agree You're driving me cuckoo, girl, can't you see? My love is very true, I've got to be They want to control you, looking at you I get a sensation out of the blue You rose me emotion You got to shake Your body line Make no mistake you got to cry for goodness sake. Dance. You got to shake your body line for goodness sake. You got to cry for goodness sake. Dance. Come on, Joe, move your feet. Get the feel of the jump in time with the bass to the tune of the jazz. Do your thing, jump and drum, dance. Come on, to move your feet. Get the feel of the beat. Jump in time with the bass to the tune of the jazz. Do your thing, jump and drum, dance.
darling, put your hand in mine. Well, you know how much I want you, want you, dance. Sweetheart, we are both entwined. Well, you know how much I need you, need you, Dan. Go round and round, then clap your hand. Go up and down, obey your man. Don't goof this chance. is being unfold and you can be a part of it i feel that i'm musical sufficiently to cope with any changes in culture if that change means money i'm not going to stay on the other side of the, of the change at all <coughs> i'm not going to stay on the other side of the river i'm going to follow that change even though I, I, I don't agree with it, because I gotta eat. TV family, this is the party of the month, and we are commemorating the works of the legendary Lord Kitchener, the Grandmaster of Calypso music. When Lord Shorty coined the musical genre soca, the older Calypsonians did not want to get on the soca boat. Here is how Kitch felt about soca on one of my exclusive interviews. There was a talk at a certain time about soccer. Mm -hmm. I didn't care about soccer because I thought soccer was so simple. I said, well, it's a challenge. I said, well, I will show them that I could do a bit of soccer too. Mm -hmm. So I did this, this soccer, um, sugar bum bum. Mm -hmm. And uh, so funny, Sugar Bomb ha ha happened to be my biggest seller. <laughs> so you want to hear something nice. So let's go to the charismatic and dynamic Lord Kitchener at his final performance, Sir Garfield Sobers Gymnasium in Barbados in the year 1999. And listen to his international soca hit, Sugar Bomb. I have the Sugar Boom Boom. I have the Sugar Boom Boom. You make me scream, you make me ball, you make me feel like ten foot tall. Sugar bone, 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 sugar bone. Yes, girl. I know you're the honey lover. That's 
challenge me Just wind down low And let me see, sweetie And one of the reasons why the Sparrow Kitchener interface was at times pretty acrimonious was that um, the public tended to see Kitchener as representing a traditional Calypso and Sparrow as representing innovation. This fierce rivalry existed between these two men for decades. But as time went by, these men became great friends. And on the eve of Carnival 2000, when the Grand Master passed away, Sparrow was left alone once again. Kitchener has made an impact on many lives in many ways. He was not only an inspirator and a mentor to many of his Calypso family. To you, my fans, God bless you all. Grandmaster, I'll always remember Jumping when a steel band pass Playing big mass Sugary Peppery, it was never ever one for class. Yeah, Oscar, wherever you are, I'm there just for you. We gon' need a little bread, fire this year. Anyone I can turn out, I'm only one call, you know. 
Look at Sonny here, you know. Well, there's no problem with that, you know. Him as Merlin the Magician, because when you listen recently to the tunes that he has done, like B's Melody, Pan in A minor, Symphony in G, Mystery Band, it's only mad people that's be thinking like that. Because I remember, I remember rain falling and a madman stand up whining by a canal and I didn't know why until now. He was here in Pat, so Kitch had to be crazy too. Honoring Kitch seemed to be a thing with me. I did it in 1968 and I'm doing it again tonight. Okay, so without any further ado, we would like for the musicians to start a thing. Yeah. 